Lady Ho friends. Oh my God, you don't know. It was so good to take those nails off. I want to cry. <laughs> oh, I forgot to turn these lights up a little so you guys can be brighted up. Ooh, I'm loving these lights. Now friend Stephanie and real life friend we work together um, sent them to me for Christmas. Crap, I just put that tiny daub on there. I don't want that tiny daub on there. I want to do... Come back off. Okay, I'll come off. I wanted to do some of this because, I mean, everything is so out of hand having my nails on 10 days. And I know that I told you guys when I did that video that you know like do once a week but if you are someone who leaves your nails for an entire week or the entire two weeks you better be doing this every single time because the amount of um cuticle and such that has grown up in 10 days oh my god it's not good it's not good there's a lot of it you guys oh my god and I feel like I haven't talked to you in forever and um my nails were like so embarrassing you guys they had chips <laughs> willow and i drive through mcdonald's about once every three weeks to pick her up a bag of ice because she likes we have well water and she's not a super fan that's what it comes down to um and we don't have a fridge that makes ice so we just stop at McDonald's and grab her a bag. Anyway, we're going through the drive-thru and the kid who took my money, they always just have you wait at the money window when you get a bag of ice, if you were ever wondering that. And then they just grab it for you. Um, he was such a little cutie. Anyway, he had his nails painted black. And, I mean, I'm a fan of black nails. I am not complaining about that oh my god look at all this oh it's horrible so this was just sitting there you guys oh my god it's horrible anyways he had his nails painted black and you know I mean I am who I am I'm sorry and also you guys you know I worked at the school for over a decade so I could be that person that if your kid is dangerously close to falling out of the cart at a store I'm gonna say I'm gonna like grab for him and rescue him and also say oh, sit down be careful <laughs> I'm sorry it's who I am oh, I'm sorry um anyway said his nails painted black but they were hot freaking chipped up mess and so I say, I love black on nails, but if you're going to do it, honey, you got to keep them looking nice. <laughs> and then he was like, oh. <laughs> and we drive off and she's like, you can't tell people that. And I said, yes, I can. Because listen, especially if you're someone working at a drive through honestly, I'd like to get a job at a drive through purely so people could admire my nail changes on the every four days right like they'd appreciate it you know I mean all the time like when we went through Culver's and got ice cream a couple weeks ago the girl was like "Ooh, I love your nails like, yes girl you do thank you anyway um she's like you can't do that I said yes I can because nobody else has told him that like, at this point, his parents are probably like, oh, Jesus, my kid's painting his nails black, you know? Um, and they're definitely not going, you know, his mom obviously didn't say, like, okay, you can have the black nail polish, but if you're going to do it, you've got to keep your nails looking good. You can't just let them fall apart into shitsville, you know? Anyway, uh, now I've told him, and I... I hope that it helped and I hope that he went home and redid his nails and I didn't um I didn't but I should have told him 
to make sure he uses a good base coat and top coat. <laughs> okay, we'll do that maybe next time I drive through and get ice. <laughs> maybe next time I get ice, I'll give him a full uh, nail tutorial. Like, you know, if you're going to do this, do it. <laughs> that thumb was still really good for some reason this one is not well also this isn't a thumb I know that you guys you don't gotta tell me so anyway now you know the person I am I just I have never been one to let mine get at all crappy looking even when I painted them so, um, you know, having chips was horrible for me. Having grow out was horrendous for my eyes. And I am really, naturally, I am constantly just, you know, pushing cuticles back and cleaning up edges and just making things look nice. And I tried really hard not to do that over the 10 days because had I been keeping my cuticles in their best position, oh my gosh, the grow out would have looked so bad, like so bad. So I had to let them just like let everything, my proximal nail fold had to be able to creep up, like everything had to be able to look like crap in order to help the nails not look obviously way past their best sell by date. There we go. All right. Okay, so we got the sneak peep at, um, what's it called? The sub box. Hang on, let me get situated here now. You guys, I got to get a better tripod for this camera. I want one that has a, my arm on this is like 20 inches or 24 they have one I think that's like 32 and I gotta get that one because I just can't get this one placed where I want it and I fight with it for an hour every time. Sip of coffee. Oh, I better, better do this. Let me show you guys too. Okay, so how was everybody's everything? How was Christmas? How was your new year? Thanks for all the new subs, you guys. Holy buckets. We've been jumping leaps and bounds. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know the sub box has a lot to do with that because there wasn't a lot of sub box reviews going on that were... Um, I don't want to say honest. I just felt like they didn't talk about... I'll just leave it as that. I just know that my sub box video was pretty well received and that has helped. So now hopefully, and I'm doing that, you guys, you know I don't buff up the top of my nail, but it's because I have that nail fixer on there. So you remember I put it over my whole nail? That was a horrible move. <laughs> don't do that. So then I wound up soaking it for 875 years and got it all off and then I just did where it needed to be and while it was drying I just held it squished in so it kept its nail shape so much better but I knew I wanted to buff that just a little because it was very and that was if you're wondering that's my 320 grit so it's a pretty pretty soft buff but they're growing out nice it's holding together good I mean they've already got uh, 10 days under their belt which is good and I'm not going to do oh my gosh my nails have grown so much in 10 days I mean I guess if there's any reason to leave your nails on that long is it's like freaking magic when you take them off I will say my nails grow pretty fast as is. They always have. So. 
And you guys know we're on the every, like, fourth day schedule now, right? So this is coming out January 4th. And, um, is that right? January 4th. Yes. And then the next one will be the 7th and so on. Like every third day, I guess, is what I'm trying for. Um, and there will be some random videos thrown in because I had a lot of really good, uh, video ideas I got from people and some of them I already have made. So, you know, they'll be scattered amongst amongst the stuff I have scheduled a bunch of YouTube lives and um, Facebook lives I have those marked in the sassy crew so people can write those down uh, the YouTube ones I should post those like on the community tab I will try to remember to do that so that people can get those down if they would like to. Oh, so nice. Oh my god, you guys. I did a lot of puzzling while I was on my little mini break. And I know it didn't feel like much of a break because you guys were still getting videos like crazy. I don't know if you know this about... Um, YouTube but if you don't have a video coming out at least once a week then when you start back up you're basically starting over like they're not even gonna show your latest videos to your subscribers because they just like put you all the way back down in the algorithm because they're jerks like that like the YouTube algorithm is a real thing I don't know like what their plan is but it's not a very nice one <laughs> okay <clears throat> on that note if you're new here and you find you're enjoying the videos and the sub box goodies and so on and so forth please make sure you hit that subscribe button I would appreciate it throw a like all the stuff feel free to leave a comment I do make a point to go through and try to answer everybody's stuff okay magical night i adore this set adore it i just do okay and this is out of your gourd this was the diy halloween kit honestly i mean i can't say it was the best kit ever because it was the only kit we've had so far but i freaking loved it please bring back the kits please please fa bring back the kits Okay, what else is stuck in here? Alright, so let's take whoop, take that guy out. Let me pop this open. Alright, so January's moon. Let's hear about it, Stacy. I know you guys have been waiting since last month's moon to know about this month's moon. And it's a full wolf moon. Arr, arr, arr. Whew, that was good, wasn't it? The cats are going to come running now because they think I'm a wolf. Um, it is on January 6th, which is also Dathan's birthday. And he'll be back to being older than me, which is the best place to have him. He'll be 48, and I'll be the young 47. Um, and it's also a micro moon. What? Let's just leave these out because I know I want to use more than what. I know I want to use extras of some stuff and not of some stuff. And now that you guys can see this whole space, let's just leave them out there for a few minutes. Maybe not. I don't know. Crap. Okay, I know I want those. Um, so it's called the Micro Moon because it looks the smallest. Because it is so... Um, far away from us right now so that's kind of cool it's gonna look tiny um hang on <sighs> so the super moon that we get is when everything is 
um, when we're closest to it. That's why it looks so big. And then the micro moon looks so small because this is officially the farthest away it is from us. You guys, you know we're back on the like gaining some seconds every day and so on. So that's where we're at with that. Um, they don't say... Oh, okay. So it's thought that it came to be known as the wolf moon because the wolves are most likely to be heard howling this time of year. Traditionally, it's believed that the wolves howl due to hunger during winter, but we know today that they howl for different reasons. Um, to define their territory, locate their pack members, reinforce social bounds, or to coordinate their hunting. Another name fitting for this full moon is the center moon, and it refers to the idea that the moon officially marks the center of the cold season. Okay, these are petites, you guys, for those of you who didn't know, so let's do a little comparison. This is the normal second finger, aka pinky of the set, and when we put it with this little guy, who is the pinky of this set, there you go. You can see the size different. And I've just lined the perforations up. So hopefully that helps somebody. Okay, so we need a... I mean, I don't think we need... We don't necessarily need that. Okay, thumb, middle finger, pointer finger. Um ring pinky and I don't actually know if it's gonna take two I haven't used petites in a little bit you guys but I know um before when I did use petites a lot of times I could get two fingers out of stuff so we'll just see how that goes this is by far uh, that uh, that was my top favorite set. No, well, maybe. Top favorite set they did out of the petites. That most recent petite release. Um, but I also love those fall colored stars. They're beautiful. I mean, because those colors are my jam for sure. Uh, okay, back to the sub box, you guys. Uh, they released the info for... February's and it's a little bit weird it's a little bit weird you guys let me pop it open so I can read the read what they had to say because it's got a big bunch of info on it our next monthly theme will take you on a cyber getaway you get to get away from the day-to-day uh, -day living log off from reality and enter a digital state of mind where life as you know becomes fully pixelated with fluid colors vivid landscapes and infinite leisure hack into any of the three illustrated looks or program your own custom Manny so on their flyer there is often some kind of little well, I won't say often because we only know one for sure, but it feels like there's a little tip to, um, you know, it's giving you tips to what your next ones are going to look like. And now, I don't know. I'm really torn on this one because I don't know what it's going to wind up like, what their situation is going to wind up being. Because on that first one, it shows very like... Um, you know, pixelated old, you know, sci-fi type situation. But on the other ones that they posted, it's more like super iridescent um, papers and such. And that looks super cool. So I just don't know which route it's going to take. Like, is it going to be really fun iridescent? It kind of made me think of the flakes in the Prism FX. So, um... 
you know, maybe they were going to get more into the Prism FX stuff. Or uh, Amanda H. shared a picture with me of that kind of new style of um, polish they're doing where it looks almost like little gel drops on your fingers and really makes the colors uh, appear very kind of iridescent or whatever. So it could be something like that. I honestly don't know. Will this work over here? Totally. It's going to be close, but it'll work. Um, and then, but also on one of the pictures they had, oh, I didn't place that very good, a VR headset. I don't know, you guys. What the heck they're doing? I don't know what the heck they're doing. We'll see. But if it's like, I'm thinking like really like kind of iridescent, um, duochrome situations. I don't know. I mean, obviously, that's the point, right? So the point is for us not to know. Okay, and on this one, I want to use this, which is the creepy tree branches, you know, with the foggy background. And I want to use that kind of as my wolf nod. So, ah, oh, that stupid paper came right off. Oh my gosh, really, Stacy? Really, Stacy? Yeah, really, you guys. That's gorgeous. So we'll see. But the um, the colors are really pretty. They're very almost neon, I guess. I thought you were coming to say goodnight. Ugh. Tartar the jerk. Tardy wouldn't answer me outside, you guys. He gets in trouble when he gets like that. He's got this schedule that's called his own time. I do what I want, Mom. That is his schedule. I do what I want, Mom. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I love those spooky trees. Okay. Oh, crap. It's stuck to my whole finger. And I don't even have... Uh, I don't have my mat on. I love these, like, the foggy look, that kind of grayish bit. So anyways, we're going to have a tropical vivid escape. Night. A tropical vivid escape. I hope you guys are ready. But before that, we got to live through the love theme. Ain't nobody got time for love. Louvre. Alright. Beautiful. Okay, so out of um, the... I think that was the second pinky in. I was able to get my both my pinkies and they are long right now but also I have really short nail beds and that as much as I hate it does help with the petite so I guess know that when you go into them size wise I mean I think you know most people you know what sizes I normally use so it gives you a little help you can you know judge a little like what's going to work on you, right? I don't know. I just find this set to me is gorge. Gorge, gorge, gorge. Um, I didn't need everything I had out, you guys. I thought it was going to take more than it took. Um. So, yeah. So, it's very... You know that paper you use to pack like that like plasticky, translucent, shiny color? I don't know what that paper is called. You know, you'd use it like wrapping a gift basket type of deal like where you can, you can see through it but it's got like the limey greens and bright pinks and stuff. That's, that is the, 
um, that is exactly what they're showing. Okay, so when I seen these, immediately I knew I wanted to do this. So cut it in half. Whoop. Yeah, have your little star bits hanging down. Oh, come on now. Right now, you guys, this stupid camera is like just perfectly at my head height, wanting to smack me in the forehead every time. Oh, gosh, those are so cute. A little crooked, but cute. <laughs> It's okay. It's one thing to remember when you're doing them, you guys. Nobody's going to see them up like, nobody will see them like you. Okay? So don't worry if something's like a hair off center, a teeny tiny crooked. You know what I mean? Like, and no, also, nobody is going to judge them like you judge them. Okay? Even when you post a nail fee, nobody is judging them like you do. And, um, if you feel like you struggle, like me, getting things straight, then just do it wonky, right? Remember to do things wonky with a purpose. Like, if you just go in knowing you're going to do something that way, then it's not, you know, you're not going to be disappointed about it. Um, when it happens, right? Well, maybe not. Ooh, I'm so excited. The art finger, you guys, is going to be the pointer finger. And I've been looking forward to it literally for like a week now. Waiting patiently to be able to change my nails. Oh my god, that's gorgeous, Stacy. Yes, yes it is. I mean, you guys, they're so cute. So cute. Love them. All right, Wolf Moon. Wolf Full Moon, we see you, girl. grew out a whole lot over that 10 days I'm gonna have to when I switch next time into I think I'm doing birthday Manny for Dathan's birthday then I will um file them down a bit okay this is going to be <coughs> finger no idea if this will fit both fingers but we'll find out it might I tried really hard to find like a gold that went with this you guys we don't have any the new gold from the sub box is totally different um, the gold, like that old gold, what's it called? Um, gold, what is it called? I don't know. You know what I mean, though. I want to say gold lust, but I think the silver is silver lust. And I don't remember what the gold is. Anyway, I wanted to use that with it. Nope, it's totally unrelated to this gold. Like, I just couldn't. Yeah, that's way too short for that. I could not get anything um, that matched this, so so there was nothing for me to pair with it. I mean, I'm sure there was. 
but nothing that I wanted to pair with it. Well, no, probably I won't have to because I'm going to use a overlay on this. Oh, and I smoothed it, so it's fine. There's nothing to cut there. Okay, so did you notice on these with this shade, this is a perfect full moon here? That's what I want to use. But I think in order to do it, like to get it to actually fit, oh, I'm gonna have to clip, I'm gonna have to trim this a good bit. So. Okay, I think this is going to do it, or at least be close. My nail beds are too short. Everything's too short, dang it. So, petite strips actually do work really well for me, you guys. Although, I will say, if I use a petite strip um, and do all full nails, the odds of me having to use the whole strip are pretty high. That's, are you telling me that's not even going to show after all that work? <laughs> all that work I put in? And it's not even, well, no. Hang on, my nose. It's not even going to show after all that work you put in, Stacy. Well, that's crap. Well, that was crap. Okay, let me think. It sucks because... Hmm. I mean, if I put this on here, like, regular... This stuff will show, you know, but I lose the actual, like, clear full moon part of it goes off the end. Well, we're going to have to call it okay enough. Oh, well, poo poop too. It's still a super, it's like a such a fun overlay. Let's see if we can just take a little bit of this and put it up here just for effect. Since we've kind of lost the plan anyway. If you lose the plan, you might as well wing it. There we go. That's cute. I'm probably off camera, but I gotta nip this edge. Okay, now, let's do our little thumbs. Yeah. 
and it covered both those like fixed spots which was all I really cared because <laughs> it would help keep them safe I mean mind you I'm going to ooh hang on hang on well I thought I just picked that off and there it is stuck to my whole thumb I got an idea here in a sec trying to get it straight and I don't know how well I'm doing there we go mm, not great but it's okay you guys okay well I love these as little um, tips like this that was my like immediate plan when these came out and I did see a couple other people also had the same idea in the nail feet group. Okay, pull that mess up real quick. Let's add, instead of just doing, um, top coat, let's go with those because I think I have a set in here. Open. Sorry if I bumped you. No? Well, we can use this though. Is it glitter sweet? Yeah. I was gonna grab a um, champagne sugar, but I must have put it to use with something else already. I mean, not that I couldn't open one, but it's good to use, you know, stuff I have sitting open. So we'll use Glitter Sweet. It'll still give the effect I want. Like, my thought was to give that, um, starry look, you know? So this will do that and then also it's a little better I mean this is just one you know that's a very thin layer at your tips that's not uh, good protection <laughs> that's not good protection at all so this will give us oh yeah that's beautiful that'll give us a starry look yeah and then um also add like a good protection so then you have two layers at your tips which is ideal in my opinion and then you know at least something over all of it and again I'll still use top coat you guys I'm still gonna use top coat that part won't change but um these are super nice and fresh I don't remember when I opened them but they feel great It makes a big difference stacking them up like that and I know they get a little stucky together sometimes but better stuck together than dried up like the damn desert in my opinion anyway maybe you prefer them a little dried up I like them nice and sticky I like sticky strips and I cannot lie Poor baby thumb. I don't know if this will. No, it won't. Will it go that way? No, it goes no way. <laughs> this is not gonna happen, Stacy. You can't beat me. This one is just too long. I mean, it's not too long. I like it where it's at, but it's too long to try to share a strip with it. Have you guys watched the In Coco Deep Dive video? Seriously, most fun I've had all year. Most fun I had all year. I am getting a little like 
looking forward to slash excited for um that doing Valentine's Day sets. Like, I mean, the sets coming out are fine. They're cute. Um, but more just like putting, I have stuff that I've been planning that I want to do for Valentine's Day that literally I've had in my head for like nine months now. So it will be exciting to put it out. And it'll probably be a busier video time then. I'll probably do every other day. Like from February 1st through uh, the 14th. Because I'll do extra videos to give lots of ideas. I won't do that for St. Patrick's Day. That's not a super huge uh, one I get into. So, But I know there are others. They get more into it, so there'll be other, there'll be lots of other videos you can watch. And then, um, Easter, I don't usually do a ton for Easter either, but I'll see what I come up with. More because I always feel like their Easter sets just wind up being like, um, springy sets. They don't necessarily feel, you know super eastery to me uh and you know I don't love pastels so maybe I will work on doing like some easter sets where you don't feel like you have to wear a damn pastel because I don't like them I don't like them I don't like how they look on me I don't like um how they go on they always feel like they don't go on super nice so in general I just don't like them you guys so I think I will. Maybe I'll work on some Easter sets that don't, you know, for the people who don't want to just be all pastel. I got lots of little ridges in here, but they'll get worked out with my flex bag on them. That was going to be, that finger was going to be so amazing, and now it's just like, oh, I'm okay. Don't worry, Stacey, I'm okay. <laughs> I, I didn't get amazing, but I got okay. Yeah, you're okay, buddy. Don't worry, the rest of them got amazing. I'm so excited. Um, today's the second. My box, sub box is charged. Um... I'm super extra excited, of course. And there will be a spoiler video, like, the immediate second that I get them. For those that want to get spoiled. I know some people skipped this month, so I think those people will be excited to see, like, yeah, I was right, too much pink, or, you know, whatever. So we'll see. All right, you guys, I'm going to flax bag these up. I love them. I will be uh, no problems wearing these for a few days. Lots of tip cleanup because I just folded everything over. And I'm definitely going to flax bag, but they're beauties. All right, enjoy your full wolf moon, ladies. See you soon. Oh.